Good morning everyone. Welcome to my art studio. Today I thought I would show you my process. I'm going to paint a portrait in sepia of Clint Eastwood. So I'm gathering all of my supplies. I am putting my reference photo up with painter's tape and laying out the paints that I plan to use. For me, I have to start out with a nice clean workspace and I am choosing the paint that I'm going to use. It's going to be a mix of ultramarine blue and burnt umber and a little odorless mineral spirits. Okay, so I am mixing the paint with the odorless mineral spirits to make a rather muddy looking mixture. I'm going to tone my canvas and I'm also going to use this as a sepia for my portrait. Here I am toning the canvas with the mixture of paint that I prepared and I always think of this as a nice warm up before I actually start painting. I get my mind in the right place and it's just a really good warm up putting the brush to the canvas. Now I'm going to take a paper towel, I'm going to wipe off everything that I just painted on the canvas and I'm going to wipe it down and get a little texture on the canvas and I want to come to a nice medium value. Give it a little tap, tap, tap and you have some texture on the canvas and then I kind of fan it and let it sit there to kind of soak in the canvas for about five minutes. What is she doing, you ask? Well, I am measuring and I use the tip of my paintbrush and my thumb to measure the distance of the hat. So I need to start putting down parameters because with portraiture, everything is about measuring and getting the measurements correct. This is something that definitely takes experience and practice. You can use a caliper, but I prefer to use my paintbrush and my thumb. So 
So now I am trying to get the measurements of the hat and you will notice that I'm taking away some of the paint with my paintbrush and I do that by dipping my brush into the odorless mineral spirits and just simply taking the paint away. So it's, a, it's very important to be able to draw before you can paint. It's just like you have to crawl before you walk. So having an understanding and a basic understanding of drawing is very important. Okay, so here you see I have a paper towel and I am beginning to wipe out some of the color. I always keep in mind the direction of the light source, so I am wiping out some lighter areas where the sun is hitting his hat. Okay, so now I'm starting to add some color back into the hat. Again, it is a mix of ultramarine blue and burnt sienna, and together it makes a nice sepia color. With this technique, I use a lot of paper towels, a lot of pushing and pulling of the paint, painting it on, taking it off until I think that it looks good. Here I am painting the underside of the hat where it's dark. Here is where it starts to get really interesting. I'm starting to measure out the parameters of his face. All right, if you notice, I have broken out the calipers because I am trying to get a more accurate measurement. I am going to begin the placement of the eyes, nose, and the mouth, known as the triangle. If you don't get those measurements right, no matter what you do, you will not get a likeness in portraiture. It is the most important thing to get that triangle accurate. Now he looks like an alien. Uh-huh. But don't yeah. worry, I know what I'm doing. You will see. Stick it out to the end, guys. Bam! There you go, Clint Eastwood looking back at you.
So I'm working on the triangle and I am still measuring. So I'm just pushing and pulling the paint and working little by little and readjusting things until I like what I see. And now for the cigarette. Now I'm working on that famous Clint Eastwood stare, that squint. And that's a wrap. And he is for sale, $150. He's painted on linen. Let me know if you're interested. Thank you guys for watching.